everybody, and welcome to Las Vegas and CTI Supermobility. <laughs> Supermobility is about connecting everything wireless. As our world grows, we all must be smarter, more on top of the latest technologies and trends. So this year, we have more experts on the floor, more educational sessions, and a first ever connected, connected fitness day with Under Armour. You will also see an educational focus in our CTO, CMO, and CIO events. Some familiar faces will be on the stage, joined by several new voices who are leveraging the power of mobility in their industries. All in all, we have over 190 hours of programming across 20 partner events. Now, out there I see a lot of you looking at your phone. The easiest way to stay on top of what's happening this week is to download our Super Mobility app. When we started this show back in the 80s, not many could envision such an app or even such a device. But we have come a long way. Just take a look. <laughs> Your innovative spirit made this possible, taking our industry from analog voice to today's smartphones and 4G networks. And CTIA has evolved with you. So as you walk the floor and attend the sessions, some key points to take home. One, wireless has changed our world and transformed our economy and we're just getting started. Two, the United States will lead in 5G just like we do in 4G. And finally, we need more spectrum to continue our mobile leadership. So let's talk. Point one, wireless has revolutionized our lives. Every morning before doing anything else, more than a third of us reach for our phone. And 81% of us keep our phone by our side all day long. I'm shocked that 19% don't. I mean, who are these people? So what does this mean? It means that wireless is taking over. In social, in retail, in health, and did you know that all the photos ever taken on film are outnumbered by digital pictures taken just this year? Wireless is how we relate to and interact with the world. And today, we stand on the cusp of another revolution. Tomorrow, wireless won't just connect people. Wireless will connect everything. 99% of our physical world, 99%. But there's no need to wait for tomorrow's 4G networks. Our remarkable 4G platform already gives us a glimpse of this future. It's already introducing us to the Internet of Things. Today, nearly a quarter of mobile traffic comes from something other than your phone. Point two, the global stakes. They're high. Other countries have seen our 4G success, and they're trying to jump ahead. We've started work on 5G. You'll see it and hear about it throughout our show. Rest assured, the United States will lead the next generation of wireless. I'm confident, because our 4G lead provides us the roadmap for continued success. The speeds on our 4G networks are increasing, the prices are decreasing, and usage is skyrocketing. That's no surprise to any of us here, but world-leading wireless networks mean more than just fast speeds. They mean global leadership on the 21st century platform for innovation. Global leadership, that's important, because app developers create here, device manufacturers go to market here, and global powerhouses do their cutting edge research right here. We all benefit when the entire wireless ecosystem 
licensed and unlicensed thrives. Our industry has become central to the 21st century economy, and our industry invests in America. Over $150 billion in the last five years. That's more than the oil, gas, or auto industries. The impact of wireless will only continue to grow as more industries leverage the power of connectivity. Another reason? Because millennials, the mobile first generation, gravitate to our platform. Like our Startup City nominees from 22 schools and incubators. And by the way, congratulations to you all. So all of this leads us to one conclusion. More data, lots more data will ride on our wireless networks. By the end of the decade, wireless demand will grow sixfold. And to meet that demand, we will invest tens of billions in new infrastructure and technology. We will build new cell sites, refarm spectrum bands, and roll out new LTE features. And if we're lucky, that will handle half the growth. So what will we need to cover the rest? More spectrum. Which brings me to my third point. We will need over 350 megahertz to meet the demand projected for 2020. The first step is next year's broadcast auction. After that, there is no plan. No auction on the books, no bans in the pipeline. Five years ago, the United States made a national commitment to freeing up more spectrum. Since then, we've benefited from auctions and reallocations. That's helped, and that's why we lead the world. But today, we need a national recommitment for more spectrum to serve as our bridge to 5G. For everyone here to succeed, we need more spectrum. And that's why spectrum is CTI's top priority. CTIA is also your advocate on infrastructure and taxes, cybersecurity and privacy. We fight in DC and state houses across the country for policies that support our industry, reflect our technology, and our economic contribution. And we always remember that social responsibility is part of our mission, too. This past year, together, we took important steps to deter phone theft reduce distracted driving, improve our E911 system, and we supported new apps that save lives. On behalf of CTIA, I'm proud to represent you and host Supermobility, because wireless is undeniably the platform of the future for innovation and entrepreneurship.